Hello and welcome to another F-22 Total Air War Let's Play video and this is the next mission on the Saudi Arabia tour called Sea Cap and in this one we've got to take out some enemy ships and they comprise of tankers and cargo ships so without further ado let's get airborne we'll put our engines on and go full power with our afterburners on we've got three wingmen with us today and off we go. We're gonna go into a V formation. Go into the smart view. There's a couple of stallion helicopters and their civilian transports in this scenario. If we press shift and G we can get the mini displays up. We've got four harpoon missiles and two mavericks. And I believe our wingmen have got the same layout. Now we've got to do this set of waypoints. We're going to go in MCOM Manual 5 for a change because that means all our sensors are on and we can identify the targeted ships from quite a distance away without having to fly right up close because having done this mission before if you're in MCOM 1 you basically have to fly up to each ship to detect it and um, that could take uh, quite a long time so what we're going to do is fly around at this small sea and fly over all the ships because the targeted ships will have a small letter T above their target boxes so there's something over here let's have a look at it and that's a small Dow ship and that doesn't have a T above it so that's not a targeted ship so we've just got to fly around this bay and just take out all the enemy ships and there are nine enemy ships to take out and this is quite a long mission now you can see all these green crosses and the sea there we've just got to basically fly over each one now I'm in the wide view so we can look at the middle multifunction display and follow our waypoints loosely so I'm gonna hug the left coast and the waypoints so we can do this bay in a loop and scan this sea systematically so there's the Dow there just flying past it now we shouldn't get too much trouble from enemy airplanes um, we're in a in a situation where we've got to follow the rules of combat or rules of engagement sorry so we've got to wait till enemy planes attack us and then we'll attack them so I'm gonna keep low and make use of the harpoons first they've got a range of about 50 miles We've got some SU-30s in the area. I'm not too worried by them. They're just over here. Let's have a look at one. Because the, they won't necessarily attack you in this mission for some reason. We're not completely at war. Right, there's a, a tanker over there and that's not a targeted tanker, so we can leave that be. And there's one over here which has got a letter T above it. Let's have a look. And that's some sort of destroyer. So we've got to take it out. We're not in range yet. 
see that counter going down. Now there's some enemy planes being attacked over here on the left. Let's check these out. There's one on fire here. It's going down. Into the water. Uh, if we go back to this targeted ship. We're in range of our harpoons. And harpoon away. Off it goes. There's no smoke or flames or uh, thrust coming out of that simulated harpoon. Now we're coming into range of the enemy ship's air defences, so we've got to take it out as uh, quick as possible. If we follow the harpoon, there it goes. And that's one down. And there's another targeted ship just nearby. If we press C, we can cycle targets. There, there's the enemy container ship and we use our Maverick this time. Maverick away. If we follow this one you can see the uh, the smoke and the thrust coming from it unlike the harpoon. Boom we've got it. Now the Mavericks don't have as long as range as the uh, Harpoons, they've got a range probably about 9 to 10 miles. And I can use my wingman's weapons as well, I can tell them to engage my target. We won't have enough ordnance to take out all 9 targets, so there's 2 down now, so there's 7 more to go. Now there's a TU-300 over here. That is a reconnaissance plane. It's an ma unmanned drone. Off it goes. So we haven't seen one of those before. Now I'm just going to concentrate on our objective. And there's the SU-35 over here. And it's gaining altitude. I was in combat with somebody. One of our friendly planes over there. Ah, F-22. It's in combat with an F-22 over there. Let's see if it's taken out. It's launching flares. Uh, it's been hit. Right, we need to continue on our way and scan this ocean. So I'm going to keep between the left coast there and this waypoint layout. So there's more ships over here and they're not targeted ships so... I'm just going to keep scanning left and right. Ah, there's a targeted ship over here. We have a look at a tactical display. It's just ahead of us. Now you can see the radar envelopes of the air defences of these ships and ground targets. Warning. Fire. 
Bam. There's a lock on us. Now this time we're going to tell my women to engage the targeted ship. So off they go. Let's have a look at this target. And it's a small enemy ship. And this one can fire back. And our wingmen have launched missiles at these ships now. You can tell by the cross through their target boxes. And there's some MiG 29s in the area now. Alright, it's only a matter of time before these enemy ships get taken out. Now, wingmen have been a bit trigger happy and they've attacked all the ships around the targeted uh, ship that I told them to engage. And they've blown them up. There's confirmation. Right, this isn't a targeted ship, so we're going to back off. I'm just going to scan the area, make sure we haven't passed anything that should be a target. There's a missile on us, I'm going to have to launch some chaff. Check the tech display, we might be able to see which direction it's coming from. Ah, there's some enemy SU 35s just behind us. Just there. I think we're going to have to take them out. Now I'm going to tell them when we're going to engage. They've sneaked up behind us. And I'm going to bank around. Now we don't have a lot of air to air ordnance, so we've got to make it every missile count. We've got to use our infrared missiles and missile away, we've got a lock. They're about six miles away. If we follow our missile. Oh, I just saw some flares go by. Oh, I think this one's missed. Now we are engaging. We've got another infrared missile locked. Uh, missile away. If we follow the missile again. This time it's not going anywhere. Boom! We've got it. Fantastic. There's another plane over here. Oh. We've got a missile on us. We're going to launch chaff. Right, we've broken the lock. And the other plane's just been hit now, I can see. Right, there's another couple of planes up here. Let's check them out. I'm going to tell my wingman to engage and get our plane onto bear and missile away. We've got our AIM 120C missiles on this one. If we follow the missile, I can see the enemy plane. A boom! And this one's been completely destroyed. There's another plane over here and uh, missile away. This is the final plane. We jump into the missile. Off it goes. And boom! Another one down. 
Right. Time to go back on our way. Now we need to get back down low. If we go to the air to ground mode, there's another targeted ship over here. Let's check it out. It's a container ship. And there's a lock on us from an enemy ship just down to the left here. And if I drop down an MCON setting, we might be able to sneak past. And we have. Right. Let's get a bit closer. We go back into MCON Manual 5 now. And we're going to use a harpoon this time. Harpoon away. And I'm going to drop down beneath the cloud level so we can see more clearly. I'm just going to change the formation so we're a bit more aggressive now. And uh, we can see our harpoon heading towards the enemy ship. And off it goes. And that's another ship down. Nothing over here. So let's veer to the left and head towards the coast. Ah, uh, there's another targeted ship here. Right, there's an enemy plane and they've locked onto us. I think we might have to take it out. I'm going to tell my women to engage because I don't have a lot of missiles left. Let's have a look. It's an SU-30. Now I've got to wait actually. I'm going to tell them to knock it off because they need to lock on to us and shoot a missile at us. If we follow the rules of engagement. Right, I'm going to retarget that enemy ship and launch a harpoon. So that harpoon's on the way. MCON manual one. MCON manual five. Warning. Radar lock. So it's just a waiting game. Let's have a look at it. Well we can see the harpoon is about to hit. We jump to the container ship. And there it goes, another one down. And this enemy plane, if I just have a look at it, it might be targeting us, but I think it's just going to let us go by. And it has, so. We've done the right thing there. In the briefing it says we have to do an eyeball and shooter at these planes. So we can't just attack everything we see. Shoot, shoot. Right, if we go back to the air to ground mode, there's two targeted ships over here. I'm going to tell my wingmen to engage this time. And off they go. Three, in. Four, in. Two, 
And they've just launched ordnance at these ships. It's a container ship. And what's this one? This one is another container ship. Right, that's both of them targeted. One down. And another one down. Right, there's another target of this ship just behind those two. And I'm going to tell them to engage again. They do get excited, don't they? This is an enemy frigate or destroyer. Now, one of our wingmen has run out of ordnance. That's why they said negative Winchester. Let's check it out again. And it's been taken out. Fantastic. And now it's time to knock it off. Right, it's time to head to waypoint three. Just to complete this circuit. There's some enemy planes over here. These are MiG 29s. Let's have a look at one. Now you can see the ships on fire and smoke on the left there. And the MiG 29 is locked onto us. Let's see what it does. No, it's stopped, but it's attacking our allied planes, so we've got a right to engage. So I'm going to tell my wingman to engage. And uh, I think it was some friendly F-22s they were attacking. And they've launched a missile at us now. I've managed to break the lot very quickly by launching flares. Right, I think one of the MiG-29s is down. There's just this one left. And it's gaining altitude fast. It's at nearly 40,000 feet. And climbing. I'm going to tell my wingman to engage this one. I've got no missiles left, so I'll have to use my guns. Right, so there's a missile locked on now. And our wingman's firing his cannons. And he's got it. Off we go. Okay, it's time to look at the multifunction display and see where we need to go. And we need to go this way. Ah, there's a targeted ship over here. I think this is the last one. We've got one harpoon left. We need to close in a little bit closer. Just have a quick fuel check. We've got plenty of fuel. This is quite a long mission, so... 
it's almost quite repetitive almost so uh, it's best to check the fuel every now and again right we're coming in really close now and it looks like an oil tanker okay let's launch it harpoon away this is the closest we've launched a harpoon and boom okay I think it's time to head home select the next waypoint off we go and we're gonna fly home in a V formation so we're all close together up and now we're home free we're back to our airfield now as I'll skip the video as pretty much nothing really exciting happened so now we want to keep this video nice and short so I've put on the ILS landing mode and we've asked permission to land and we're coming down to land. Now there's some A-10s landing as well just behind us so we've got to be quick about it. We'll put our gear down and we want to land about 140-150 knots. We're coming in pretty fast. We'll put our air brake on and just let us touch down. Put the air brake on again. That should slow us down. And I'm just going to park off to the side. We might be lucky and see some A10s just cruise past. Mission goals have been completed, excellent. I can hear the A-10s. I can see them actually, they're just behind me, coming in to land. Well, it looks like they've touched down and they've basically stopped on a sixpence and they're turning off. pretty much straight away so they got a really short stopping distance well I hope you enjoyed that video until next time bye bye